What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today. We're going to be talking about the status of Jenna Ortega and her participation or lack thereof in Scream 7. Now as of now, of course, there has been no official casting to confirm that any of these people that were involved with Scream 5 or Scream 6 in terms of the core four or even Courtney Cox for that matter, Hayden Pantier or any other person who was added on to the cast in Scream 6 and made it out alive like Josh Segarra, there's been nothing that has come out officially from any outlets to let us know that they have officially signed on and will be back to reprise their respective roles in Scream 7. However, I have told you guys that there is a completed draft, which seems to be true according to the fact that we now know what a working title of the movie is. It's titled Blackbird. I've told you that the expectation is that they will be having radio silence on as producers. Christopher Landon was alleged to be taking over for them as director, and that ended up being reported that same week when I put out that video on Sunday. And then at the same time of that video, I said that everyone was expected to return except for Radio Silence as a director's. So that would indicate when I asked for clarity, that would be the core four survivors, Josh Segura, Hayden Pantier and Courtney Cox. Uh, at the time, I also mentioned that Nev Campbell was not a part of that everyone. But that does not mean that Courtney that that Nev Campbell will not be reprising her role as Sydney Prescott, because, of course, she could always still sign a dotted line and come back into the fold. So as of today, one of the things that has seemingly started a fire online, a, sm a smidgen of a fire for those that care about this, of course, like myself and many of you who care about what's happening with Scream 7. Mr. or My Time to Shine, hello, uh, I'll just say my time, to, my time to Shine, one of those scoopers who many of you might be familiar with if you are someone who follows them and knows that they have been very reliable in the past. Put out a tweet saying it's unlikely that Jenna Ortega will return for Scream 7. They want to start filming as soon as possible after the strikes are over. But, or but Ortega is a star now thanks to Wednesday and is super busy. Scream is just not a priority for her. So then people started going, what do you mean it's not a priority? How can it not be a priority when she helped make the last two such a success? I would say she had more to do with the success of 6 than the success of 5 if I'm being fair, honestly. However... Viewer Anon chimed in and said, I was told Jenna's doing Scream 7 and that part of the reason they want to roll production so quickly is to accommodate her schedule. Guess we'll see if the strikes have an impact. And then someone else chimed in saying Jenna's schedule is full for upcoming months. So how exactly will they accommodate her her schedule? Viewer Anon said Wednesday season two is post Scream 7. Production may get pushed back as far as fall 2024. Now, I will say that same user who commented to Viewer Anon replied again saying that apparently Wednesday is supposed to start shooting in October according to Production Weekly. I will say this, although Production Weekly is also reliable, just like many other reliable things, Production Weekly is not always correct. So chances are that's going to shift if there is no resolution to these strikes by the time October comes around. They're not going to be filming anything if the actors and the writers are still striking. So here are my thoughts on this whole thing. Again, like I stated, I said that the expectation is that everyone will be back. That means that they have roles for them in this draft that has already been completed by again Guy and James. Christopher Landon might have had some might have had a hand in writing it. Time will tell. He could have wrote the whole thing, but as far as I know, Guy and James wrote this film. So Jenna, of course, has a role in this as Tara Carpenter. The expectation is that she will be back to reprise her character. If she is not back due to her schedule, that is fine. And what do I mean by that? I mean that in a way that, again, she's becoming what the Nev Campbell talk of the town was when Nev Campbell was not going to be a part of Scream 6. As unfortunate as that was to hear and as heartbreaking as that was to hear for many people, you have to remember Jenna Ortega, yes, yeah, she has a very big fan base. I'm not going to take that away from her. That fan base not showing up for Scream 7, that's probably going to make up a, a not, as in, not as small of a fraction as the people who say, oh, I'm not watching it because Nev isn't here. Maybe even more so of a fraction, but they're not making up the majority of the people who turned out to see Scream 6. There's just no way that was the case. Most people who turn, turned on Scream 6 or tuned in to see these upcoming screen films, it was due to great marketing. Yes, Jenna Ortega's participation helped. Losing a big star like that, I'm certain would take a would make the box office take a hit if they do not follow up with some even more stellar marketing at their disposal, like they can do for Scream 7 and still end up making possibly even more than they made from Scream 6 in Jenna's absence. But Jenna Ortega 
not being in the movie is not going to then mean it's going to flop. I do not want to see that narrative start overtaking everyone's mind again. Although if you decide to do that, that's really on you. I'm just saying that extreme take it's just it's just not necessary. There are so many different variables that could end up overshadowing her lack of participation. If she's not back, yes, that would be unfortunate. It's unfortunate we won't get to see Tara Carpenter portrayed by Jenna Ortega once again. However, that does not then mean they can't rise from the ashes, fill in something for her that would replace her, whoever that may be. Hell, I'll say this. If Tara isn't in the movie, I could see us having a better chance of seeing a co coexisting story between split between Sam and Sydney versus having this already likely overcrowded seven film that we're about to get. If we're being honest, there's so many survivors. There's probably gonna be a handful of newbies. So then you toss in Sydney as many people want her to be back. It's going to be crowded. If you remove someone. I would say, OK, I can get on board more a little bit with, with buying that you could sell me on a Sydney and Sam story where they both coexist as co-leads. So let's say Jenna is able to participate, but because of her schedule, she can't commit to what was originally intended. Use her as the opening. Use her as the opening. She's still in the movie. She's the opening kill. Sure, people will catch on to the fact that maybe she's the opening kill due to how the marketing is handled and what you may show in these TV spots and in these trailers. And you know how people like to overanalyze everything. And of course, I'll be a part of that myself. But at the end of the day, Jenna's participation and having her as the opening kill, I would say would be the biggest thing that even compares to what we got from Drew Barrymore in the 96 original movie, considering how big Jenna has grown since Screen 5, thanks to Wednesday and her undeniable talent. The lady is talented. She more than likely doesn't see Scream 7 as a priority. And if she does, that's okay. She's very booked. She's very busy. She is not obligated to do this film. I could say though, if her schedule doesn't allow her to commit to the original design, I would use her as the opening if she is available to do something. Use Tara Carpenter's death to propel Sam's arc in Scream 7 even further, give her an emotional edge already from the jump, shatter the hearts of millions of fans who probably will not be seeing it coming other than the people again like myself who were over analyzing and playing detective before the movie even drops, shatter, shatter hearts, surprise everybody, surprise all the casual Jenna Ortega fans because at least her participation in that regard can still lead to perhaps one of the most shocking, heartbreaking opening sequences of the franchise since Drew Barrymore in the original, if executed well. You guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there is a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.